Mastering modals, unraveling, would, and used to with stative verbs. Hello language enthusiasts! Welcome back to another episode in our Mastering Modals series. Today, we'll be delving deep into a topic that often puzzles English learners. The use of would and used to with stative verbs. Let's crack this tough nut together. Before we dive into the complexities, let's first recap what we've already learned. Would and used to are modal verbs we use when talking about habits in the past. For instance, we might say, I used to walk to school, or when I was a kid, I would play football every afternoon. Both of these express habits or regular actions in the past. State of verbs, on the other hand, describe a state or condition, rather than an action. They include verbs like, love, hate, know, understand, believe, etc. Now, here's the twist. Although we use, would, and, used to, to express past habits, they don't always behave the same way with stative verbs. While, used to, can be used with both action and stative verbs, would, is typically only used with action verbs. For example, you can say, I used to love chocolate, but it's not common to say, I would love chocolate. While generally, would isn't used with stative verbs, there are a few exceptions. One of them is when we're narrating a story, particularly in written English. In these cases, we can use would with stative verbs to create a more narrative, storytelling effect. For example, every time he saw her, he would feel a strong sense of excitement. Here, feel is a stative verb, but would is used to give the sentence a storytelling vibe. Let's put our knowledge into practice. Try to make some sentences using would and used to with stative verbs. Remember, practice makes perfect and don't hesitate to revisit this video for reference. And there we have it. We've unraveled the mystery of using would and used to with stative verbs. English can indeed be tricky with its exceptions and special cases, but don't worry, with every video, you're one step closer to mastering it. Keep practicing, stay curious, and I'll see you in our next video. Happy learning!